Alright folks, Nat1971A here again. Just like to uh, say by now, um, everyone should understand that effectively Nikola Tesla's apparatus for the utilisation of radiant energy is effectively what's just been built. We've got our insulated plate, we've got our charging capacitors and we've got a ground connection and we've got a circuit controlling device okay okay just like on Tesla's patent we've got our aluminium insulated plate we've got our charging capacitors and we've got a ground connection and over here we've got our circuit controller doing something useful. Okay folks, I'm on the roof of the garage. I wanted to give you a closer look at these aluminium uh, insulated plates. Okay, basically what they are, uh, aluminium roofing flashing contacted on both sides, okay? Okay, that might not be... Uh, really clear on the on the videos. I recommend everyone to review Boxer 888's video on YouTube. And here's the other end of the panel. I've just brought a uh, a bolt with a nut and attached my magnet wire to that. Okay. Okay now um, Boxer recommended using Boxer 888 recommended using a, uh, a rolling pin to apply the um, mylar or book contact or laminate or whatever you want to call it to the uh, aluminium um, roofing flashing from your hardware store. Uh, now he mentioned when it was quite important to get uh, not have any air bubbles in the in the uh, in the contacts or laminates or mylar uh, when applied to the the aluminium um, flashing uh, mind you mine's I rushed mine and mine's probably got all air bubbles all through it so um, yeah so for the perfectionist uh, yeah try and get get rid of all the air bubbles as best you can uh, but yeah, definitely have a look at uh, Boxer 888's videos. I'll post the link to those ones because there's quite a lot of videos to look through, and highly recommend looking through his experiment. Okay, so really now the main little question is how do we scale? How do we scale this system up? Now the first thing that comes to mind is okay, we put add some more batteries to the uh, to the primary side get it up to maybe 24 volts or 36 volts. Um, the other million dollar question is the aluminium plates. Um, now in Tesla's experiments, well actually in Boxer 888's experiments, um, I think he determined and I think John Badini's determined that for it to be effective it's got to be at least 30 feet in the air. So whether this applies to this circuit, I don't know. I'm not sure if it would because it's working now. The other million dollar question is if you put a another neon bulb on there that has a higher trigger point, like say um, 200. 40 volts or 250 volts or something like that are we going to be able to run more lights on it? Now, who knows the answers to these questions? Now, as Tesla was doing we should be able to run an AC motor so here we have a AC fan which needs to be tested at some point in time. I was actually using this as a commutator. 
some point. Okay, the other important point is that Tesla mentions the surface area of the plate being proportionate to the energy generated. So I don't know if this, that applies in this instance. Okay, I don't know how accurate this is, but my voltmeter is set to the highest reading you can go and it's telling me there's well you can see that 470 volts in there so that would be the limit of the capacitors I guess, I don't know so yeah I guess maybe the other limit is the size of the capacitors perhaps so I guess if we can get the um AC motor running, I, I don't know if that's possible or not, but Tesla did it. We just got to work out how a uh, way of doing it ourselves. So, presumably, uh, we put it there and uh, we'll see if it runs. Um, okay, this grand here, according to Tesla, can be replaced with the negative pole of a battery, make this system completely portable. Assuming we can get the AC motor to run here, we've got our power system for an electric vehicle. That would be cool. Let's see if we can make it happen, folks.